All right, it's estimated that 15% of Americans ordered takeout food for the Super Bowl this year. That includes about 30 million pounds of snack food and 50 million pounds of avocados. As News 2's Colin Campbell tells us, those are just some of the stats being thrown around for the second biggest eating day of the year. It's not like we really need a reason to pig out, but Super Bowl Sunday is a good one. The NFL championship is the biggest eating day of the year, second only to Thanksgiving. Thank you for calling Papa John's. At Papa John's, they dish out 30,000 pizzas to football fans across the state and enough pepperoni to cover nearly 150 football fields. I'll double my staff today. So we'll have a full complement, probably about 15 people in today. And talk about a spread. The hungriest fan can eat three days worth of calories in just one night. Health experts encourage control. Basically, what people are going to want to focus on is treating your body kind of like a checking account. Um, if you're going to uh, eat a lot of calories, you're going to then need to burn a lot of those calories. Sure, running and exercise is important to burn those calories and keep extra weight off, but you don't have to turn your whole world upside down because eating in moderation is best. Pants Across Sky Ridge shows the before and after of people who change their eating habits. I'm not going to put a damper on the party. However, I think we can make a conscious choice. Interspersed between like healthy snacks like fruit, uh, pr uh, more protein-related uh, foods such as sandwiches, ham and turkey is always better than, say, salami and uh, you know, pastrami. So it's OK to eat to your heart's content. Just keep in mind that the more you put on your plate, is the more plates you'll have to put on. In Greenwood Village, Colin Campbell, News 2. All right, and Papa John says it expected to use 14,000 pounds of mozzarella cheese and 12,000 pounds of tomato sauce by the end of the day. Some of it ended up.